Hello everyone, it's Cynthia here again. I um, just wanted to let y'all know, um, as I told y'all yesterday, there are two hurricane or two tropical storm, storms that are potentially going to turn into hurricanes and are going to be hitting the Gulf Coast around the same time. Probably just a few days apart, they will, be, but they're both going to be active in the Gulf around the same time. Um, with that being said, me and my husband have talked about it, and uh, we're just going to keep an eye on the weather. But until we hear anything further of it getting worse, we are going to try to stick it out right where we are. Um, so keep your fingers crossed that it's not going to turn out to be bad. Um, but yeah, we're planning on stick, just trying to stick it out, and I will keep y'all posted even through the storm as best as I possibly can. We just know that uh, there's a chance that we can lose power. And if we lose power, I won't be able to do any videos until I can charge up like my phone or my laptop. If I have to, I will use my vehicle to charge up my phone during the process so that way I can at least do some type of videos for y'all and let y'all know what's going on during the storm and after. But, as I said, we plan on trying to stay here and stick it out at the RV park. Um, so, keep your fingers crossed and hope for the best for us. Uh, that's what we're doing. We're leaving this all in God's hands. That's the only pe person that we can leave it in the hands of. We're going to let this play out the way it's supposed to play out. The only person that has any choice in the matter on how bad it's going to be or how good it's going to be will be our Lord and Savior. So just keep us in, like I said, keep us in y'all's prayers and pray that everything is good for us. We're going to leave this in God's hands and we are going to keep an eye on the weather and if it looks like it's going to get worse, we will pull out. But right now, like I said, as it stands and the way they're talking, we should be all right, we're going to get rain and stuff, but we should not have to worry about leaving. It shouldn't be that bad. So that's what our plans are. Um, and, yeah, that, that's pretty much what I wanted to let y'all know about is that. And, like I said, I'll keep this updated as best as I possibly can. Um, right now, they are still predicting them to be hitting somewhere between Louisiana and Texas. Both of them. One could hit Louisiana, one could hit Texas, both could hit Texas, or both can hit Louisiana. But they already stated that just be prepared between Corpus Christi, Texas, and the Louisiana border, somewhere in Louisiana, to be prepared for this rain for uh, from both of them. No, if we don't get the eye of it, we will still get the tail part of it or in the middle. So, like I said, just keep us um, in your prayers, and I will keep y'all posted on what's going on. Uh, if I don't do other videos until the storm's over, please just work with me, because that's my main concern at this moment, is the storm's coming. So, like I said, I have to be prepared to get my family out of here, if we have to. And we already got with my husband's brother, my brother-in-law. And we have it set to where if it does come to where we have to evacuate, we have a plan in motion, ready to go into play. So don't worry about, do y'all have a plan? Are y'all are y'all prepared in case if something happens and y'all have to get out of there? Yes, we are prepared. Like my husband likes to tell my kid, our kids, and just like I like to tell our kids, prepare for the worst, hope for the best. And we prepared for the worst, but we're hoping for the best. We prepared to get out of here. We have somebody that will come and pull our RV to safety. And where it will be located will be nowhere around the water. So it will be safe. If Even if it rains and a little bit of flooding happens, we don't have to worry about the water like we would here. So, the, so yes, that one would be a good thing. Like I was telling his, my brother-in-law, that's our home. That's all we have. We lose that. We don't have nothing. So if it comes down to it and we need our home pulled, would he pull it? He's 
said yes. And he talked to a couple of people and already has a plan to where he could put our RV and we would go and stay with him during the process. So hopefully it doesn't come down to that. Hopefully we can just leave our home here and we can make it through this storm with no problem. So just keep us in your prayers and I will keep y'all posted on if we do have to evacuate at any time or not. But like I said, we do have a plan in motion to get us and our home out until after the storm if it comes down to it. So we have prepared for the worst, but we are hoping and praying for the best. And I will see y'all in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Don't forget to hit the bell notification so you'll be notified by my upcoming videos. And I'll see y'all in my next video. And hopefully I have some good news at that point for you. So I'll see y'all next time. Bye everyone.